In this video, I'm going to show you how do you add a little for sale badge right here in the upper left hand corner of your product images. So when you're looking at a collection, so right now I'm looking at the men's shirts collection. I want to see that there's a for sale or even a sold out banner right here. Now, this is using the debut theme and you can see that we're already doing that. It's already doing that down at the bottom right here. You have these little badges down below, but let's change this up. Let's go ahead and get rid of these and then have it be shown again in the upper left hand corner. So the first thing that we're wanting to do is we're going to do that via CSS. Now, when you do a quick search on Google for CSS badge, this is one of the very first links up toppers. So Vinod here put up some, some code that anybody can use, and it's showing us how do you add a number of things? How do you do a number of things? How do you add this banner or these badges in the upper left-hand corner? You can have it in the lower lower corners, the left side and the right side. You can have it come up at the top. You can have it be in the middle, down below here. So let's take his styling and add it to our theme. What you'll want to do is in the middle here, the CSS, scroll down. We see this badge overlay CSS. I'm going to grab it from that comment and go all the way down. I'm going to copy all of this all the way down to the bottom. Control C. Let's go into our admin panel. Let's go ahead and edit the debut theme. So let's edit this. And if we go down below to our assets, theme CSS, scroll all the way to the very bottom down to where theme CSS is. And you'll see it's actually conveniently at the 7,000 line. So if I just start from 7,000, control paste, control S to save it, or clicking on the, the save button in the upper right hand corner here, we have now added this styling. Now it's not doing anything yet. If we take a look at this and we refresh, it's not doing anything yet. But let's go into our product price listing liquid file. So if we go into our sections, there should be a product price listing. Ah, might be in our snippets actually. There it is, it's in our snippets. Product price listing liquid. So this file right here, and I'm going to add some code up top here. So you see that we have some liquid code right here. That's great. We're going to do something very similar. But if we scroll down, you can see what controls that banner, what controls the adding of some particular what's called classes, CSS classes, or really HTML classes, but this is what you use for styling, that there are some, some piece of code that's checking to see is it available? Is it on sale? So we're going to do something very similar, capturing that information. Let me show you. So we're going to add some liquid code. So when you do this right here, you can add some liquid code in between. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have a show badge variable. I'm going to set that to false initially. All right. Now this is where we can do the compare at price over price. So we can say if that compare at price is greater than price, what do you want us to do? Assign show badge. Make sure that that's true. Assign, let's call it badge color because if it's on sale, we want it to be, let's just say red. Or maybe uh, if it's on sale, it's a uh, it's orange, and then if it's sold out, it's red. That might be a better idea. So let's do that same thing. So badge color is going to be, so this is for sale. Let's say this is orange. Assign badge text equals for sale. End it. Now, if 
available equals false, this is where we'll do that same thing. Let's just grab all of this. It's going to be red. So I'll save it off. All right. So it'll be orange if it's for sale, red if it's sold out. Now that we have these variables set, they're being determined for us or calculated for us, we can, if you scroll down to where the image is, let's go find the image real quick. Oh, that's not in here. Show badge. Oh, it really doesn't, shouldn't matter where we put this. Let's just put it at the top. Let's put it at the very top. Put this in here and say, if show badge, so if this is set to true, remember we're setting that up, up above here. If it is true, oh, and if, we're gonna have some code in here. We're gonna write some code. So here's our code, div class equals badge overlay div let's re-indent that and in here this is going to be span class equals top left badge and this is where we're going to find the badge color so this is going to be red or orange based on our code here all right and we're going to add in this badge text as well Remember, that's being determined up above. Now, if we save this, let's just refresh and see if it works. There you go. For sale, sold out. It works for us. Now, we'll probably want to get rid of the tags down below here, the sale and the sold out down below here. So, if we scroll all the way down, that's happening right here. That's where it's happening. So let's just go ahead and delete that. And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and move that code that we've written down below there. That might be a better place for it. Since that's where it is, that code is, let's just go ahead and move it down below here to keep it consistent to where it was when it is. it had these badges down at the bottom. So let's just refresh and make sure that didn't destroy anything. Perfect, and it still works. So now we have a for sale and it sold out right here, that's fantastic. Now where's this coming from? This is coming from that code that I just wrote is coming from this example that we have right here on CodePen. So it's really just doing this that we see right here. Now you have this top left, you have this badge, you have this orange. If you look at the CSS code, you'll see that we have a top full, we have a bottom right, bottom left, etc. So if you wanted to, you could say top right and save it. And if you refresh, now it's on your right hand side. If you want to do a top full, let's just go look and, and grab it from here. Top right, bottom left, bottom right, there's a top full. Product price listing, let's do a top full. Save it, refresh, there you go. That works as well. So all because of this styling right here, all this code right here, what it does is it, it lets you control where that badge is going to be. You have a middle full, bottom full, and then you have red, orange, pink, blue. So you can, if you want, you can add more colors here you can use pink, blue, or green right here. So let's just let's just show you what that looks like. So if we do a batch color, and let's just let's just make the change up top here, and do green. There you go. It changes the color. So it's pretty neat. Thank you to Vinod here for providing this this code that we can just implement into our theme. Let's just do a top, let's do a middle full, see what that looks like. Perfect.
So you have a number of options. If you don't care to have these different positions, you can get rid of them so that you're not bloating up your CSS file right here. You're not, you don't have code in here that you're not going to use. So if you don't care about having a bottom full, a middle full, a top full, feel free to go ahead and delete them. Right? If you're not going to use that positioning, remove it. If you're not going to, re to have any sort of colors besides red or, and orange, remove it. Right? We don't want code that we don't, uh, we're not using in our files. Or you can keep it there. It doesn't take up a whole lot. Keep it there. That way you have some flexibility later on if you do want to move that. All right. So that is how you add badges and have them hovering over your product images. Hello, everyone. If you've enjoyed this video and are interested in learning more, head on over to universatheme.com. It's a full-blown course that teaches you how to customize your Shopify themes, whether you're a store owner or a developer. We'll show you how to build in navigation menus, how to filter your collection pages, how to customize your cart page, and so much more. You'll see you have a full-blown curriculum shown right here of what lessons are already there. So sign up today to become a Shopify theme pro.